on. This morning, Americans are racing back into theaters to root for Hollywood's biggest star. Just want to manage expectations. It took this movie to get you back in theaters. It did, yes, definitely. Top notch sound and a big screen in front of you, you can't beat that. Top Gun Maverick soars on to big screens this Memorial Day weekend. The Tom Cruise infused reboot kicking off a blockbuster summer for the first time in years. This is a huge deal. We haven't had a summer movie season since 2019. In the wake of COVID lockdowns, theaters are banking on a box office comeback. After raking in $11.4 billion in 2019, 2020's ticket sales plummeted to just $2.3 billion, then began rebounding in 2021 to $4.5 billion. And analysts hope that takeoff continues. The summer box office season normally rakes in 40% of annual ticket sales. I think the pent-up demand for movies and theaters, and with the lineup this year, I think we're going to see some great opening weekends from all the movies. Movies including Jurassic World Dominion from our sister company Universal and rock star biopic Elvis. Look at the trouble. And to lure streaming lovers off the couch, theaters are revving up the experience with all major chains offering larger than life screens and Regal rolling out 4DX interactive seats in 50 cinemas. People are laughing together, crying together, getting frightened together. There is nothing to compare with the experience at home. The movie theater comeback happening as Netflix sees an unprecedented drop in subscribers. The streaming giant now reportedly in talks to debut some films on the silver screen. Would you be open to a deal like that? Is it going to happen? I don't know. I would be very happy to have some of Netflix content on our screens. What is on theater screens has fans buying in. You lost that love and feeling. And that loving feeling is sending summer projections soaring. Such good singers. We loved those guys. Uh, Maverick himself, by the way, also casting his vote for theaters. On stage at the Cannes Film Festival, Tom Cruise was asked if amid those years of delays, he ever considered releasing this uh, Top Gun, this latest one, on streaming. And he was adamant, saying that was, quote, never going to happen, adding, quote, I make movies for the big screen. Maverick, Iceman, Goose, whatever you guys want your call signs to be, I'm going to send it back to you. <laughs> uh, appreciate it. We're going to call you Vespa Viper. Yeah, Vespa Viper. Well done, Oh, my done, gosh. Thank Maggie. you so much. I love that. Yeah, that <laughs> was awesome. It. Maggie, guess what? Peter does a pretty good Maverick, actually, and I think it's we have said. the Let's proof it. of it. A couple years ago, this was Peter Jenna Bush Hager, <laughs> Halloween Today Show, Maverick and Goose. Yeah, the outtakes of, of, of JBH and, and me as Goose and Mav doing You Lost That Loving <laughs> Feeling are un, uh, unfortunately available somewhere online. Yeah, you can it see, was not pretty. Yeah, you're really feeling it. You did not lose That's that you, feeling. You would have fit right in at that early screening. I mean, you might have been there, and I could have missed you easily. That looks awesome. Thanks, Maggie. He would have been at the front of the line singing Maggie. Great stuff. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.